Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and we are back again talking about these weird people on Twitter that seem to have this strange idea, like I didn't have an audience before the weirdo puppet man decided to do some weirdo gay puppet stuff, and it's really weird that these guys are so obsessed with the fact that I can make money off of them and continue to grow a channel while talking about other things that have nothing to do with Ripperverse, Air July, or even my haters. But... Today, again, we're going to be back with this thing where we're going to be talking about these haters who want to talk about how I'm this person they keep on naming me and how apparently, like, I, they, they think that I didn't, wouldn't have a YouTube career, quote-unquote, without Ripperverse, which my videos from last year, my biggest video last year was a different video that had nothing to do with Air July. I got about 212,000 views last year. I'm already on pace to surpassing that this year. We're only in May. So, of course, as usual, we're going to start right here. Because, again, counting the numbers of total sales for Yara 1 is apparently counting someone's money, even though that's not what it is at all. I think it's so weird. $1.379 million, 10,231 purchasers, and over 17,000 books sold. Just on the way to $1.38 million. It's absolutely crazy. Blade Devil Chains of Blood seems to have picked up two backers which is awesome this book should be seen by everybody especially when this is being written by raging golden eagle drawn by toxic man baby who don't seem to get involved in any of the drama nonsense it's absolutely fantastic i really do wish that joe ball's book was still going like at the indigo campaign but i know you can dm him via you know email him and stuff like that and he'll give you his paypal so you can actually get his book still i think it's gonna be a fantastic book for over 300 pages for th just 30 dollars for a line art but you can scroll down here you'll see the different covers a b and c of course the fourth cover is this summer limited wraparound cover which i got all of them i'm really invested in this i did get blade Devil one which you can get here if you don't have it for just 10 bucks right here at sick fox studios unlimited over on indiegogo we also have von coleman who surpassed 10k raised in 13 days 16 days to go 158 backers for his book phenomenova uh, issue number one lightning strikes you can check out the trailer. The links to all these campaigns will be listed in the description of this video. Now, of course, a few days ago, Shane Davis had to say that he's smug. Yes, you, you finally admit that you're smug. We all know this already. We all know that you're a smug individual who thinks you're the top, one of the top people in this indie space, which, not really. I mean, yes, you were part of DC and Marvel, and you did some stuff for them, and that's great and everything, but... If you want to be smug in the indie space, you really can't expect people to back you up when you should quote-unquote get canceled by CTV2, or you can't expect people to back your stuff when you're acting the way you're acting. So I said, at least you know. At least you know. But this individual right here says, nobody gets mad at you, because I said that people get mad at me when I call it out, when I call out the nonsense that, of course, people like EBS and others tend to do against an audience that's not theirs and potential customers. So... This individual says, nobody gets mad at you. If it weren't for a well-put-together puppet show, nobody would ever get, even notice you. It really wasn't well-put-together. The puppet looks like dog water. And the individual in question looks like a crackhead. We've seen this plenty of times. He seems to be a psychotic guy who used to work in Hollywood. And I guess he has a vendetta against anyone who's against the Hollywood mainstream. Who wants to keep putting out dog water into the world and calls it entertainment. Now, the entertainment he puts out is absolute dog water because he it relies on other people, not any original characters that he would create. It's characters that he models around, you know, YouTubers such as myself, which is crazy considering my following. I appreciate everyone who does follow, appreciate everyone who does donate, and I appreciate everyone who is a member of the channel and jumps in on the live streams. I will be adding more stuff as we go, like new emojis and such, and of course merch. But what I told this individual was... It's kind of funny. I had an audience well before the Puppet Clown was a thing. I'll have an audience after the Puppet Clown. You're delusional. Get, you know, of course, people get very mad when I say this because they want it to be true so bad that I didn't somehow build an audience without this Puppet Clown or even EVS e-fapping, quote-unquote, my videos because he has nothing better to do than sit up here and cry like a little baby when I call out the fact that he has a bunch of late campaigns and can't fulfill any books. Meanwhile, other people like Iconic Comics and Ripperverse can fulfill books on time well you know well written in my opinion well drawn in my opinion opinion because of course there's going to be people that don't believe that things like alpha core and horsemen and things like that are going to be well written or even isom for that matter 
So, iDrive Pro says, well put together puppet show. What is this nonsense? And this person, of course, says, right, because he's one of those haters of mine that believes that I didn't build an audience prior to these clowns, right? I definitely didn't do that. I do talk about other things that have nothing to do with Air July at all that do much better than anything concerning Air July or EVS. So, I guess, and he says, whatever you say, this individual continues to put this picture with me. I don't know. I guess to try to get my attention, which we all know you're an EVS simp. I see you when I do those clips. Sometimes your name pops up when people make the clips of EVS's trash cast because, of course, it's a spite podcast made against Yellow Flash, which Yellow Flash gets tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of views a day. So I can tell you right now, Flash ain't really worried about this clown's garbage podcast that he also made called, you know, he also made another one called Friday Night Trash, which is supposed to be against you know friday night tights which again they don't talk about you you're just mad that they don't talk about you and they don't defend you when you've been crapping all over their audience and them for years after you decide to call a bunch of people zeros we also have this individual saying it doesn't matter he makes toilet paper in comic book form he'll never write anything of worth his artists don't give a crap people get rich off scams all the time i'm more surprised you don't know that you are the mark here and i said a scam would require i didn't receive a product i purchased good for you randall account for having a different opinion the amount it makes clearly matters to EVS, as said in the clip, because he claimed that ISOM 3 is going to make less than Alpha Core 1 and Gyra 1. So I said I, I would be laughing. It would be funny when ISOM 3 actually makes more than both of those campaigns. So this individual, you know, I'm sure people know as Tokenized Veto, says, of course, shout out to Thurgis. And I say shout out to your dead YouTube channel and shout out to Tokenized Veto, because again, you attach yourself. To me, you attach yourself to Eric July. You have to talk about other people. I don't got to talk about y'all. But the thing is, y'all come onto my timeline. Y'all quote to me. And then you get mad saying, I'm attacking y'all and I'm going to y'all. Meanwhile, I'm the one quote tweeting you guys bringing your your conversation or this conversation or your argument to my timeline to talk to y'all. Meanwhile, you're always on my timeline. You're always on my uh, post quote tweeting and all that good stuff meanwhile what are you really doing you're not doing anything you're talking about taking down the rip reverse and you were the one that said god made it your mission to do so when you sound like an absolute clown and a psychopath for saying such weirdo shit like that that's cult like nonsense you want to ask me what isom's power is uh, powers are meanwhile so i say to you you didn't read the book because if you did read the book and you actually had an understanding of the book you could easily tell what isom's powers are i don't have to help you with that and because it seems to me that people who are actually fans of this stuff and actually fans of this material can clearly see what type of powers this individual has i mean for someone to ask me can he fly well no shit of course he can't fly he literally says it in the book i understand it's supposed to be a thing against you know yellow flash for saying that ISOM could fly months ago. But even this person here, Paulo, shout out to Paulo, literally saying ISOM has superhuman physical characteristics, strength, durability, stamina, etc. Slight regeneration, nothing Wolverine level, just some faster healing, and his suit absorbs fall damage. Because at the end of the book, he wanted his suit to absorb more fall damage after he was dropped by Yara onto a car. Probably about 20 stories. So for you to sit up here and act like People can't figure out what ISOM's powers are. Clearly, someone who read the book and understood it can. And people who are actually fans of this stuff, this material, can understand the powers. I mean, Paul also went back and forth with an individual talking about how, you know, Luffy from One Piece, they, we kind of have some sort of, you know, they give out what his powers are, some of his powers are in the first chapter. Meanwhile, he's got powers we, throughout what, a thousand chapters. He's still getting more powers as the story goes on, it seems. So... You know, this individual had to respond to, of course, something I said, which was somebody trying to call me slow. So I'll pull up the context that says, why is it they're just slow? Eat the Van Skyward, the warehouse, which you spell that wrong too, is public business. You cannot talk to public businesses. Yeah, I don't think a private warehouse that somebody is renting out is public business. You don't, nobody knows where it is and how they do now because, of course, Chris Bacon decided he was going to do that because he... Thinks he should have been hired by the Ripperverse, which I wouldn't hire a clown like that for literally anything. And I said, you, what is, is third just slow? I said, you mean, why is third just slow? You're calling people slow while simultaneously being slow. If it was public, why would he have to dox it then? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would he have to put out the address if, if it's public? That doesn't make any sense. 
but I digress. So this person says, The worst thing Ed Eric July ever did was defend himself by employing 24-hour rats who would feed, in, feed on all of it. So much worse than the trash cats, which is at the very least entertaining. How it's entertaining at the very least. You sound like an old man who just enjoys a bunch of drama, and that's what you seem to go there for. The whole purpose of Eat the Man's Skyrim Channel was originally to be outside the mainstream and be a comic pro and actually, you know, deliver books rather than sitting up there and drama tubing everybody that he doesn't like. Or his little cronies. Because, of course, when Cecil steps out of line, according to him, he tells them like it is, and they didn't like that response that he gave them by calling, you know, John Malin feminine. But when somebody tells the truth, it seems like Cecil had to backtrack on it for some odd reason, which is why I like Cecil. He's base. He'll tell you like it is to your face, rather than beating around the bush and telling you nonsense to your face. So I respond by saying, I'm still waiting for that check at Eric July. You should go ahead and find your hair before you start calling other people rats. You look like you just crawled out the sewer with your feminine self looking for drama where there isn't any. Because I don't know this individual. This individual just comes out of nowhere and tries to talk nonsense about me for whatever reason when someone came and insulted me first. So I just responded. And it's really funny how when I respond to somebody responding to me, you know, oh yeah, he's he's spurging out, he's, he's triggered, he's this, he's that. But it's always you clowns that come out of nowhere and try insulting me. But then when I defend myself, right, against you clowns, because I don't back down from little girls on the internet like y'all. It's always, oh, I, I'm looking for attention. I'm hired by Eric July or some weird crap. When it's literally me responding to somebody that I follow. And someone responds to me. And then I respond back. It's like you weirdos on here have never never witnessed confrontation before. It's like you've never had someone say something back to you. Because you're so used to people not saying nothing to y'all. When you say something to somebody else. It's a very weird thing we got going on. And of course we had this weirdo who's still butthurt. Still butthurt weeks after I called him out on his nonsense for trying to say that I was going after EVS's autistic daughter. He didn't like that very much so he's still talking about me running his mouth as usual. Whoever this clown is, him and these weirdo Dr. Till and these clowns down here. So I said this dude is still butthurt because he outright lied on my name and I called him out beta male soy field behavior because you don't get to sit up there and lie about somebody and then when you get called out you double down you triple down sometimes even quadruple down on your absolute garbage and your lies so i'm sorry you don't like to get called out on your bs but i'm gonna call you out on your bs if you're gonna sit there and lie on my name and you're gonna lie about my character when it's all y'all that are attacking me for defending my positions and saying well you, this is actually a lie against somebody else that you're trying to Tarnish someone's reputation, trying to tarnish my reputation, which I've seen plenty of times and people are trying to cancel my platforms simply for having an opinion about a comic book that you dislike or about a person you dislike. So, go screw yourself. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit that like button. Comment below if you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.